Well, this is the um, gamma spectrum of the sample that we scraped from the uh, filter and uh, we can now ask the program to analyze these peaks that you see um, and I'll just do that ask for a full analysis and you see that the, the program is running running across the peaks here and each one of these peaks comes out at a particular position in terms of its energy and then we'll get an analysis. Now here's the spectrum analysis that tells us what's in the in the sample and we can see immediately that the sample contains cesium-134 and here we have 42,000 42, becquerels per kilogram and cesium-137 we have um, 68,000 becquerels per kilogram and also interestingly you see here we have a lot of lead 210 now lead 210 is a very interesting radionuclide it's normally natural uh, decay product of radium 226 but here we've got far too much of it we've got seven and a half thousand here seven and a half thousand becquerels per kilogram of lead 210 and that's almost certainly from the reactor because there's no bismuth 214 there which is what we would expect if it was natural and also there's thorium 234 and now look at that that's the daughter of uranium 238 so that's giving us 3000 becquerels per kilogram of uranium 238 and there's also uranium 235 we've got 240 becquerels per kilogram of uranium 235 so far too much now we're going to ask this to put in the put in the um, the nuclides so we'll do that here we are nuclides and it says show nuclides okay so we can ask it to do that now we can go to any point here and look at the spectrum to see what there is and here's the thorium 234 you see now that, and there's the lead 210 let me let me take you a bit closer to this and you can see how clever this stuff is See this? So there's quite clearly lead 210, thorium 234. These are very, very small sample. This there's thorium 234 again. Let's move across here and see what we've got. We'll go up here at this, and there's uranium 235 here. See that? Now uranium 235. That's that peak there. It's telling us that we've got a lot of uranium-235. That means, with the other thing, we've got um, we've got clearly now there's some cesium-134. Now these are the big peaks of cesium here. Here's the big cesium-134 peak. Where is it? There, there it is. Look at that. See, so that's a big cesium-134 peak there. And remember, this sample is the sample that I scraped off that filter that I showed you. There's cesium-137. There we are, cesium-137. So this technique enables us to tell exactly what it is in the sample. Very clever stuff, really. Although it does cost a bit of money, because we have to. I haven't got a machine like this. Cesium-134. And of course there are various other uh, substances there, including natural substances. So we will have um, potassium-40 at 1460. Let's see if we can find that for you. Where are we now? We're at 1168. So if we go along here, we'll find potassium 40. Is that it? No. What's this? Must be this one then. No. Must be this one. There it is. There it is, potassium 40. So we know it's potassium 40 because we know where the peak is. It's at 1460. Where it is 1465.1, that's the cursor, but if I put the cursor there, it comes out at 1460, see? So, what we can say about this sample is that what we said before is true, that the sample is extremely radioactive, the, uh, the, the filter is extremely radioactive, and it contains high levels of uranium and lead-210 and cesium-137, all substances which are inside an apartment on the 20th floor of a block 
300 meters from the Tokyo Tower. Isn't that quite something? It's quite something. Rhodium 102 we have here. This is a fission product from uh, Fukushima. But my, the most serious one, the one I has the U235. I mean, these peaks are not very large, but then remember the sample is really small, really small sample. It's just a few few grams. Chlorium two three four. So that's our uranium peak. And there's far too much uranium there. It's about three thousand becquerels per kilogram. It should be about twenty. So this uranium is from Fukushima as well which means that particles of uranium are floating about in central Tokyo. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. 